Here we're at the Wren Building, which is the center of historic campus. And while we're here, we're gonna be talking about a lot of campus history and traditions. William & Mary was founded in 1693 by Royal Charter of King William III and Queen Mary II. The Wren Building was built in 1695 and has been an active academic facility ever since then, making it the oldest academic building that's been in continual use in the United States. Wren used to be the entirety of the student experience here at William & Mary. Students would have lived, eaten, slept, and gone to classes here, and professors would have even held their offices in the building as well. Today, students are often excited and honored to be able to take classes within the building, some going so far as to make it part of their university bucket list. Historic Campus is also home to two other buildings, the President's House, where our current president, Catherine Rowe, lives, and the Brafferton, which is home to the offices of the president and the provost. One of my favorite traditions actually occurs right here in the Wren Yard. We have an event called Convocation, where on the first day of classes, we invite all the new students on campus to come to this special ceremony where we just welcome them and bring them into the campus community. We have a series of speakers, President Catherine Rowe comes and says a few words, and what happens is, right after all the speakers are finished, we open all the doors to the Wren Building, all the new students start standing up and proceeding through Wren, and they're greeted by the entire campus community. The minute you walk out of the building, you hear the sounds of the pep band, and you just see waves of upperclassmen, faculty, and staff welcoming you and bringing you into campus. And it's honestly one of the most welcoming feelings I've ever experienced.